Hi guys, we're gonna see how to install Kali Linux onto VirtualBox and to do this you need virtualization enabled on your PC. So to know if you actually have virtualization enabled on your laptop or PC, you just go ahead and right click on your taskbar and go into your task manager. So once you go into task manager, you should be able to go to performance and there in your PC you should be able to see something under the CPU called virtualization so you see that enabled if it is disabled I'm gonna show you how to enable it from the BIOS now go ahead close that and shut down your laptop or PC so now you're gonna go ahead and boot using in your laptops BIOS key combinations and then try to boot into your laptops BIOS settings yeah I've just yeah that should be your BIOS settings so once you go into your BIOS settings you should be able to find something called virtualization now let's see now there you go inside config that's not the one yeah there you go under security you have something called virtualization so that's if it is disabled you need to enable it once that's enabled you go ahead and hit exit saving changes and yes so that should let you use virtual box so that should let you enable so now once you have enabled virtualization now you need two files one would be your virtual box installation You're gonna go ahead and search VirtualBox and open the first link that comes up and then go ahead into downloads and select your VirtualBox installation file. Mine's Windows, so I'm gonna go ahead and download the Windows one. So and then you open it and you start installing the file. So since I've already installed it. I can either click repair or remove to uninstall the thing so once you go ahead and finish using your installation you have your virtual box installed and ready to use here yeah? so let's leave it there and we're gonna download a file so you're gonna download the Kali Linux file from the Kali Linux website now we go ahead into Kali Linux download Kali and then you download the file for the virtual machine that you're going to be using so click virtual machines and then in our case we're going to be using the virtual box one right so we download the virtual box um, 64 variant so why we use the pre-built virtual machine file is because you save up a lot of time from installing Kali once you download the ISO and you try to install it you you have to go through a set of process and everything so you get to avoid those process if you're installing from the installing in the installed images of the Kali Linux so we're downloading the 24.3 file for the virtual box you can either download it for VMware depending on what software you'll be using so let's download this one and once your download is complete you're gonna have to extract the file I'm just gonna fast forward to the end so once you have the file you can go ahead and open and you extract it to the desktop So once you've extracted the file, you go ahead and open VirtualBox and click on add. So when you add, you go ahead and select the file that you've extracted and hit open. So that should let you modify the settings of the VM. Now I'm going to allow 3 gigs of RAM for my PC based on what RAM I have so if you have a bigger powerful PC that you can use feel free to use that one 
so once you've modified your requirements over there you go ahead and click on start so that should power up your VM from the file and now since it's small I would suggest that you go ahead and click on view and hit full screen more and switch so that should let you bring up your VM in a bigger screen when the drivers are loaded up so let's wait for it there you go Kali Linux is booting up the first boot takes a while other than that it should be faster now your default username and password for Kali Linux can be taken from the website itself but just in case if you didn't it's Kali for the Kali for the username and the password is Kali as well and login now there you go guys if successfully installed Kali Linux on VirtualBox so guys there you go if successfully installed Kali Linux in VirtualBox so if at all you have any doubts please leave them in the comments below and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you do like the video and if you want more informational videos like these thanks for watching guys